Lo, lo, lo. Hello. Hi, everyone. Let me know if this is working. I know sometimes it is delayed, so I'm going to be awkwardly standing here. But I'll just do some shout outs <laughs> while we wait. Hi, Matt. Hello. It's so, I love, I love seeing you here. It's almost your birthday, right? Is it your birthday already? It's happening. You're skydiving. It's terrifying. Um, Sonia, hello. Leanne and Samantha. Yes. So I do have my new posture video, which is so, so wonderful. Wow, I'm really close to the camera. <laughs> it just started working. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm not on your TV, awesome. Um, but yeah, that posture workout is so wonderful. We do strengthening and stretching, so you guys are welcome to do that after. Hi Clementine, hi Courtney, video is good, awesome. Audio is good, I hope, yes, here you go. I'm gonna try to remember to talk loudly and clearly when I'm over here until I get that mic. <sighs> so exciting, yay! Okay, so today is gonna be full body. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. We'll be doing a lot of fun stuff today. And I mean, we always do. So let's get warmed up. I'm gonna put this down. Oh God. Oh my God, I'm so awkward. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go. Oh my cat. All right guys, let's start out <laughs> with that warm up, bounce it out nice and easy. Start bringing those knees up a little bit higher and then start adding a jump rope in. A fake jump rope, but a jump rope nonetheless. <laughs> Three, two, and bring those knees up even higher. Keep going with those arms. I know coordination is a big one in this one, but we got it. I feel like I'm shouting. I am. <laughs> Three, two, one, feet out wide, arms out, reach across the body. Open up that chest, squeeze that back. Reach and squeeze. You should feel this in your hamstrings when you reach across. And then opening up your chest, you should feel that stretch as well as a nice squeeze to warm up the back. Keep it going. Yes. Ooh, you know what? Today's gonna be really good. Today's gonna be super fun. So. Let's get that smile on our faces. This is gonna be so good. Let's go two more. Pop, last one. Pop, and go ahead, butt kickers. Kick the booty. Think about driving your knees in front slightly though. That's something I learned more recently from my friend. It's like, actually, you shouldn't like lean forward like this. You should drive your knees up a little bit. Yeah, no. Let's see if she is coming into frame. Come on, hi. Three, two, one, and feet out wide again. We're gonna go side to side. So push your butt back, keep your chest up, and keep that back flat. Push that booty back. Push it back. Does anyone else work out barefoot when they're at home? I like it. <laughs> it's nice. Different challenge. Let's go a few more. We're warming up those adductors and abductors, also known as your inner and outer thighs, as well as your quads. Let's go one more. And nice job. Go ahead, have big arm circles. Think about bringing it all the way around, keeping your core strong. I like to stagger my feet for more stability and then bring it backwards. And also it makes the body look more flattering rather than this. <laughs> Oops, backwards, cat, backwards. Four, three, two, one. All right, come on down to the ground, plank position, hands under the shoulders. We're gonna press back and then bring one leg up to the outside of the hand and open up that chest. Keep flowing through, press back, open up that chest. This is awesome because again, we're getting a nice stretch for the hamstrings, but we're also warming up the core the shoulders, the quads, the hips. We all, we all need that hip stretch. <laughs> Not just me, I know it. Let's go two more. And then we're gonna go back to that plank. Last one. Woo! All right, plank position. Press back into down dog and bicycle it out. So we're warming up those calves here. Relax that neck. Keep pressing through those fingertips and palms. Three, two, 
one, and shift it forward, come into tabletop position. From here, a little cat cow. So you're gonna bring it in, inhale, tuck that belly button in, tuck the chin, the chest. Exhale, inhale, bring it in. Exhale, bring it through. <laughs> inhale, as I like to call it, pop the booty, but no yogi ever says that. I guess it's just me. Inhale, bring it in, one more. Exhale, and go ahead and shake it side to side, getting that spine again nice and warmed up. Three, two, one, and let's go ahead and flip it around. We're gonna roll back, reach through. Roll it back, remember to avoid rolling on that neck and that head. Another thing you wanna think about is keeping those knees close to you. So tuck it in like you're a bug and you're like, no, don't touch me. I'm gonna touch you. No, gotcha. <laughs> no, no, get away from the cords. <laughs> if we go offline for a second, it's all meow meow's fault. <laughs> we have two more. Um, hello, couch. Last one. And nice job. All right, from here, legs up straight. We're gonna reach for the outside of each foot. Now, it's nice and controlled, so make sure you're not just jerking it up. You wanna press your belly button into that ground and bring it up side to side. If that's too much, just bend those knees and reach. So we're warming up the core here. Inhale down, exhale up again, nice and controlled. Use that core to bring yourself up. Sound effects are necessary. Let's go two more. Last one. All right, go ahead, bring it back up. However you need to, whether you use your hands or you roll up. Bounce it out, let's get into some jumping jacks. Touching the hands at to the top, jumping the feet out wide. Woo! Ooh. I'm excited, we're almost done warming up, guys. So, stay with me. I'm just going into a circle for fun. Three, two, one. Shaky, shaky. All right, last one, guys. Squat down and kick. So, go ahead and alternate legs. Sink it down, chest up, back is nice and flat. Sit back like you want to sit into a chair. Try to get to at least 90 degrees. Keep rocking it. Let's go a few more, last two. One more. And go ahead, grab a drink. I'm gonna check if everything's okay. So you guys go ahead, grab a drink if you need it. Yay! Cherry Pinduli, Sofien. I hope I pronounced your name right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ivy, hello. I'm just shouting at you guys, I'm so sorry. Cat, you're closer to the camera, just remember that. <laughs> All right guys, so get ready with your weights. We're gonna start, 15 seconds. So I'm gonna grab, you can grab your dumbbells, I'm gonna grab my barbell. We're gonna go with a bicep curl. Do a curl, stay up here, back lunge. Bring it down, nice controlled. And then we're gonna keep alternating. All right, let's go. So, curl, back lunge, back and down. Curl. You wanna make sure you use those biceps because it's really easy to just swing up the weight. But you wanna think about keeping your elbows in, squeeze the biceps, keep them nice and activated. So from here, what we're doing is we're adding more time under tension which makes it a whole heck of a lot more fun. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> You're good, guys. 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go into a nice stabilizing mini cardio move. Three, two, one. Now I was literally freaking out over there. Just playing with the stairs. All right, so <laughs> next up, we're gonna go with a skater hold. Skater. Hold, so this is gonna require quite a bit of stability. Let's go, if you need to, you can step, tap, and drive a knee up. So if you're one of those people that says, cat, that's it, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My stability sucks. Well, the only way to get better at it is to work on it. So modify if you need to. Don't accept your identity as a person that is bad at stability. Okay, 
We create our identities. We can change it. We can put the work in. So keep that posse attitude. We're going to keep getting better. We got three, two, one. All right. Oh, I love these ninja ones that I put in. Remember that squat and front kick we had? We're going to do it with the closing our eyes. So it's ninja. Close your eyes, squat, knee up, stabilize, and kick. All right, let's go. So this is the really fun part because all of a sudden, the world seems different. The world seems a little bit quieter. And even though it seems quieter unless there's like someone talking, like me, uh, you really get to sense things differently. You get to hear things a bit different. So this is going to be really awkward if you're just watching me and I'm the only one with my eyes closed. So I hope you're doing this ninja move with me. Remember to breathe. It's really easy to hold our breaths. Woo. Proprioception, baby. It means awareness of your body. Woo. That's fun. And then all of a sudden I'm facing this way more. So funny. All right, so come on down to the ground. We're gonna come in that tabletop position like the warm up. Pop your knees up. We're gonna turn. You're gonna kick out your bottom leg and touch the ground. Come back. Touch the ground. So, this one has quite a bit of hip mobility. So, you're really gonna feel that. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's also core and it's also your shoulders. So, make sure you're not collapsing down, okay? You press through. <laughs> Keep going. Keep it up, guys. We got 15 seconds. Your quads should feel this too. Woo, 10 seconds. So important to know how to control our own body weight. All right. Calisthenics is my favorite. All right, robot arms. I'm going to grab super lightweight, like five pounds here, okay? So, Arms are here. You're going to come down, bring it up. That's it, okay? So go for it. We're working rear delts, back of the shoulders. Keep it nice and controlled. Now, if you have a shoulder impingement and this pinches you in front, what I want you to do instead is you can alternate rear delt flops, okay? I don't want anyone to be doing this workout in pain. You just need to modify working the same muscles, but modify for where your body is at today. Because every day is a bit different. Whew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see why I'm using lightweight, right? I hope so. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's just poopy. <laughs> All right, so come into that plank position, hands on the shoulders. Pay attention to this. You're going to jog drive in, bring it back, come up, squat. Okay? So come back into the plank. Let's go. In, back, up, squat. Notice how when I squat, I have a nice flat back. Okay? Use your core to bring your feet up. Once you get it down, you can add speed. But until then, make sure you get the form down. Keep it up, guys. So fun, 20 seconds. It's gonna be a great day, guys. This is an awesome day. Look at us moving our bodies in all the different ways. That's just so cool how capable we are. Whew. All right, shake it out. Single leg deadlift. Um, I'm gonna grab two weights. Because there are two 10 pounders stabilizing on my right leg. We're going to bend, stabilize the leg slightly, come up. Now, this move is super basic, but, 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 if you need to, you can drop the weight. Form above all else. Okay, we are going to beat up this side, this leg. So remember which leg you're stabilizing on because we're totally gonna do two more moves on it before we switch sides. You should feel us in the back of that right leg. Ooh, 
So as I was saying before, bodies are so capable of so much. So what I like to do if I'm having a weird body image day is I just list off the things, all the things I'm capable of. Whew. All right, next up. Go ahead, drop one weight. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop one weight. Whichever leg you stabilize on, we're gonna go to the side, sink down into that lateral lunge, just like in the beginning. Stabilize, bring it up. Over to the side, sink down, stabilize, bring it up. So we're working adductors, abductors, quads, stabilization, core, and those lateral deltoids. I often have days where I'm like, ah, my legs, because I hold fat in my legs um, more than any part of my body. That's just how I'm built. That's just, that's my genetics. It's fine. Um, but then I think I'm like, yeah, but they take me all the places I want to go. They help me to do these workouts with you guys. Just list up all their capabilities. And it is so cool. Whew. All right. So before we go to the other side, Stabilize again on that right leg. I'm gonna use a weight, you don't have to. Other leg is going out to the side. We got that star crunch, bring it back. Okay. Now remember, it's slow and controlled. So take your time. Oh, stability, I love you. <laughs> Keep going, guys. 30 seconds. So if you guys are struggling with body image, I want you to think about that one part and then set in gratitude to it. I want you to think about what does this body part do for me to help me do the things that I love? I think that's so important to remember. Whew, the mind is so powerful, guys. <laughs> Keep going. Three, two, one. It helps us push through workouts like this. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to the other side for the deadlift. Take your time in it. Shaky, shaky. Okay, so I'm gonna stabilize. Neck is neutral. Got my Harley Quinn hair. And let's go. <laughs> Remember, we don't want to lead with the dumbbells. You wanna hinge from the hips. So you're like a water bird in the garden, okay? You're hinging straight, straight, straight. Come up, drive it up. Take your time. If you can't get this down, stabilize on a stable surface. Whew. You can hold on to something like a stable couch or chair. Whew. Help you get this movement down. Nice job, guys. So close. We got whoa, five, four, three, two. All right, so go ahead and put one weight down. This time I'm going to lunge over with the left foot, stabilize, and then do that lateral raise. So make sure you're stabilized before you add that raise in. You can also tap down like this, so you're mainly on that one leg. Stabilize. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Squeeze that core. 30 seconds. Use weight that challenges you. If you guys have been sticking with fives and threes and twos for years, and you just aren't seeing any progress anymore, I want you guys to try to challenge yourself. Get some weights that are heavier for you that you can use with perfect form. Most important. <laughs> we got three, two, all right, so. We got that star. I'm gonna stabilize on my left leg this time, driving it up, raising it, crunch. Well, this part is squeaky. I hate it, I'm moving. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> crunch. Some things push through the uncomfortability. Some things just take a step to the side. <laughs> Love cat. Thanks for coming to my cat talk. Keep it going. Inhale, exhale, stabilize. I'm trying not to curl my toes on that stabilizing leg. It proves to be very hard. <laughs> 15 seconds. 
Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, my hips. My hips are pretty dry, baby. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right, nice job. Next up, one of my favorite movements. So we have all planes start our skaters. So you're gonna jump and you're just gonna go in any formation that you want forward and back to the side, whatever it is. Let's go. This is really just playing around. Take a big leap, take a small leap, switch it up. This is all for you based on what you want to do. But challenge yourself. Try to get those big leaps in. Try to get those backwards ones in. Whew. Keep going. Don't be afraid to use your arms. Stabilize yourself. We are always moving in different directions in our daily life. So we want to get all planes. Whew. That was so fun. <laughs> I love that one. All right, so narrow rows. I'm gonna grab my barbell. My palms are facing towards each other. Back flat, row in. Now, I know this one we do a lot. We do this one often, but it is so important for posture to work our back safely too. Make sure you're not rounded like this. Okay, hinge from the hips, push your butt out, bend slightly, neck is neutral, and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Really important. I just made a new workout and I posted it. It's all about fixing posture. I'll be doing more in the future because we can only cover so much <laughs> in 25 minutes. <laughs> Three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna grab one five pound because we're using cardio, <laughs> using it for cardio. So what we're gonna do here is chest up, sink down, come up, sink down, come up. So I'm punching the air. Let's go. We're gonna do 22 seconds on one side, 22 on the other. Now, if, if your back will start to go like this, don't sink down as low. Concentrate on keeping your back flat and your chest up. Get ready to switch in three, two, switch sides. Keep it up, guys. So fun. <laughs> Nice job. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. Ah, oh, that's fun, see? So fun. All right, <laughs> a little bit of movement flow here. I love doing these movements. We're gonna sink down. Place your hands on the outside of your feet. Jump. Notice how they're still on the outside. Come up. If this is too much for you, you're gonna come to a plank, raise it. Raise it, all right? Still working shoulders, still working on controlling your own body weight. Make sure you bring your hands up in between. <laughs> Quads, oh, they burn, <laughs> they burn. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Woo, 12 seconds, yay. We got five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, shaky, shaky. All right, next up, face forward. So face towards me. We're gonna bring it to the side and do a curtsy. Come together, hop. Curtsy, come together, hop. Now, you guys go ahead, I'm gonna add weight. I'm adding weight because I know I can do a little bit more. Whew. So if you guys know you can push a little bit harder, try it out. Whew. And up. Keep rocking it. Sink down. And up. Nice job, guys. 
Up. 10 seconds. Core strong. Yes. Yes, it is. Four, three, two. Oh, okay. Go ahead, put it down. Now we're going to add an element like we did in the warm up. You're going to come into an inchworm mode. So walk it out. Bring your foot to the outside. Mobility. Circle. Bring it back and back. Let's go. Forward. Other side. Mobility. And back. It doesn't have to always be just straight. We want to make sure we add in these mobility movements for a nice, happy, healthy, functional body. All the way around. Keep your core strong. So fun. <laughs> so fun. Whee! Three, two, one. Oh, I love it. Oh, cat, what were you thinking? All right, so basic movement, but 10 high knees burpee. Okay, so you got 10 high knees. That's all I hear, all these like moaning. <laughs> oh, down, up. All right, let's go. Now, modification, march it out, walk it out, come up to the tippy toes. Or if you want to for your burpee, use an elevated surface. I don't recommend squishies, though. So if you can get to the edge of your couch instead, try that. Keep it up, guys. Pump your arms. Down, up, jump. We're over halfway already. See? Goes by fast. Keep it up, guys. Ten seconds. Finish it out. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna move this here. So, come on down the ground. I'm gonna grab my tens. You might want to use your fives for this one. Crisscross applesauce. We got forearm curls. Hang your elbows at the edge. You have your wrist facing down. Curl up, come down. Ooh. If this is too much, do one at a time. Keep it up, guys. You should be us on the top of the forearm. Make sure you bring your wrist all the way down, all the way up. This is super important to do, especially if you're like a rock climber or you do a lot of ninja work because we work so much of the other side of that forearm then we need to balance it out to avoid any kind of injury and pain. Besides this pain, this pain's good. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, ow, uh. Okay, so next up, if you can, you're gonna plank on these dumbbells. If you can't, you're just gonna place one in the middle. You're gonna hold it here, bring it right next to the body, bring it up like a bow, and switch. Stabilize. If that's too much for you, you can come to the knees. Swivel. Take your time though. Make sure you don't torque that knee, especially if you're sweaty and you're on carpet. So you want to be very mindful. And up. That core is gonna have some fun with this one. Keep rocking it guys. Strong, press through. Don't collapse into that shoulder. So we protect it. All the way up. Almost there, guys. Yes. Three, two, one. Yay. All right, so next up, we're going to continue with the core. Come in into plank again. We're going to drive knee in, kick back, spider. So drive knee in, kick it back, spider. If that is far too challenging, you can come to the knees, hold it into plank. You can come here and just drive a knee in. That's cool too. Whew. Keep going. Up, drive it. Knee, up. We are really testing that endurance. Ooh, 
for the plane. But sometimes we need that to push a little bit harder, to level up, to gain experience. Up and down. Nice job, guys. All right, three more. I know, just kidding. Two more, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have our legs up, just like in the warm up. This time, you're gonna reach over, center, and over. Again, nice and controlled. Let's go. Stick with the modification that we did earlier if you need to. Exhale up, use your breath to bring yourself up rather than using your chest. Keep it controlled. We're almost there. All the way. Finish it out. Woo. 15 seconds, guys. I hope your core is burning you. <laughs> I'm just hoping. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right, last one, guys. And you know it had to be a lower back movement because it's so important to work it. So go ahead, flip it around. Opposite hand, opposite foot. We got swimmers this time. Give Superman a little break. All right, get ready. Three, two, let's go. Lift. Neck is neutral. I know this one's uncomfortable, but I promise you, as you do it more often, it gets like 0.01% less awkward. So that's something we look forward to. You can. Woo. Lift. Lift. Use that breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. We are almost to that stretch, guys. Keep it up. Almost there. Almost there. Up. Oh. Last three, two, and done. All right, I don't know if I can make this to be five. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to stretch it out. Just going to put that there, okay? <laughs> All right, let's crisscross applesauce it. So from here, let's get some neck stretches in, okay? Um, I close it up? I can't see. Okay, so we're going to actually take your hand. We're going to sit right on it. Kind of weird, right? But we're going to get that arm straight. And that's gonna really allow us to get a real nice stretch for that neck. So take your hands to the opposite side, pull. If that's not comfortable for you, so you don't have to sit on it, you can always bring it to the side. But I promise you, it's definitely a more intense stretch if you do that. Breathe. And slowly, slowly, slowly. Release, go side to side, very gentle. So we did enough to our bodies. <laughs> They're like, wow, what just happened? Okay. All right, so let's go ahead, go the other side. Pull, breathe. One side might be tighter than the other. And bring it back to center, side to side. And notice if it is tighter than one side, Take note of that, but also act on it. Make sure you're very active with your stretches and you incorporate them daily. It's so, so important to do that. All right, so from here, we're gonna bring our hands forward. Come into tabletop. From here, walk the hands forward onto the fingertips and come down, getting the shoulders and the lats right. You can move side to side, you can add some pulses. and slowly bring it back. All right, let's take that right leg, bring it forward. And from here, it's a very minimal movement. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna tuck in that pelvis, and you should feel this in the hip flexor right here. Again, it's very small movement. Make sure you breathe through it though. It might be kind of intense for some people. Go ahead, release, shake it. And let's do it one more time on that side. Bring it on in, round it. And slowly release. Whew. 
Make sure you're breathing while you're doing that. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to get the calf on this side. Come to that heel, hands down to the ground, and you can wiggle, wiggle, or you can just sit back and breathe. And go ahead, bring it forward. And now we're going to take that knee and press it out, opening up that hip. And go ahead, bring it back to center. Let's switch. So left leg forward, press into it. Oh wait, no, not this time. This time's a little bit different. We're gonna go ahead, tuck that pelvis in, a little different stretch this time, really getting that hip flexor. It's just so robotic now. I'm just like, yes, this is what we're doing because we, we do that. <laughs> that is why. And go ahead, release for a second, shake it out. And get back into it. Use that breath. And go ahead, shaky, shaky. Let's get on that heel, hands down to the ground. Wiggle, wiggle. You can also sit back if that's what your body allows you to do today. And then go ahead, bring it forward. Bring that knee to the outside. Breathe. And go ahead. Bring it back. Let's go back into crisscross applesauce one more time. All right, cat cow again. This time a little different variation. Hands onto the knees. Inhale. Open up the chest. Relax the face. Think about bringing in all the sparkles, all the sparkles. And then absorbing them in the body. Tuck the chin, the chest, round that back. Inhale, bring it through. Exhale, bring it in. You got one more. Inhale, bring it through. And then exhale. And shake it out. All right, so this is something I haven't done before, but I'm like, you know, this would be fun. So, you know, me and my ideas, they're always fun, right? Burpees for everyone. All right, um, hands onto the knees. Grow tall in that spine. And I want you guys to think about one body part that you've always been kind of like, I don't know, or one feature about yourself that you're like, uh, it kind of bothers me sometimes. And I want you to send some gratitude to it. I want you to close your eyes, think about all that it does for you, and then send some just positivity, happiness, and thanking it for everything that's done for you. Just take a moment, take, let's take three deep breaths and really just think about that. Go ahead, shaky, shaky. I was just thinking about like all the adventures that I've been to, all the countries I've been to because my legs have brought me there. So it's really cool. All right, let's shaky, shaky there. And we are done for today. Roar. So I'm gonna look at the comments, see how you guys liked the workout, if you liked the ending too. I think I might bring that into all of our workouts from now on. I think that'd be really good. Ended off on a really happy, positive note as if you need more happy from me. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, look at it. Yay! We did the thing. Did the thing. I'm still here. Oh, wow, I'm so close to the camera. All right. <laughs> Yay! Samantha, you always work out barefoot. That's awesome. Seriously, though. Yeah. It's so cushy. I hope you wear carpet. <laughs> Lauren! Lauren, hello. I love you, little lamb. Um, we got Pinduli. Thank you. Our love sparkles and rars. And then we got Ruel Freud, Jan Mikanse. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Sonia, Matt, Mary, I'm so happy you guys liked it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Leanne, oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, I got this, ready, ready, okay. Oh, shaky, shaky. <laughs> thank you so much for super chatting. This is what you get, this is it. Someone make this a gift, don't do it. I will be haunted forever. <laughs> Abby, more meditations at the end. You got it. I think that's I think that's what we need. I think that's that's good. Letitia, oh my goodness, this is great. I'm so happy you guys love the ending. 
Samantha, I love the gratitude at the end, but you forgot to share. Sparkle, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's restart this. Clasp the hands in front. I was just so meditative. Pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. And exhale, oh, our sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Okay, I hope you guys sparkled with me. Thank you for reminding me. Akita. Shaky, shaky. Thank you so much for super chatting. So yeah, now I'm gonna just keep adding on to it and I'm gonna add like a top hat. Sparkle, a cane, it's a little much. <laughs> Thank you guys. Awesome. And I hope to see you guys next week. Uh, same time, same place. Other things. <laughs> now it's so delayed and I get to see myself shaky, shaky and I'm like, well, could be worse. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you soon. Have an amazing rest of the day, Leanne and Akita. Thank you again so much for super chatting. It really, really, it means a lot. So thank you. And if you guys do want to support my channel even more, and you know, you can't in like monetary reasons, I totally understand. But if you would share my channel, that helps me so much. I want to reach as many people as possible so we could all get that sparkle and roar in our lives. So yeah, thank you guys. Have an amazing rest of the day. Do all the things. Yeah, this is the awkward part where I'm like trying to end the stream, but I'm holding my thing. Okay, I'm done. Roar! Yay!